So the confidence working group update, uh, Joe mentioned that uh, uh, Rod Dreisbach gave a, a keynote address at the, at the last assess meeting, and essentially what he talked about was the need to manage simulation, the need for what we call simulation governance, and the need to build up confidence in what you can do with simulation so that you can make uh, proper decisions. So this is not so much about something that needs to happen with the software, it's something that needs to happen organizationally within companies so that they can much better leverage simulation and make it much more effective in the way that they, they engineer their uh, products and their manufa manufacturing systems. So what the, the working group came up with is that you need to, if you're gonna to talk to upper management about this stuff, you have to couch it in terms of, of costs and ROI and the real benefit uh, to, to using simulation to do engineering. And some of the scope here that we have includes verification and validation, and that brings in organizations like NAFEMS. <clears throat> this is a recent benchmark magazine where the whole magazine talks about things like <clears throat> verification and validation and uncertainty and, and so on. Um, a big aspect of, of doing simulation is, is to manage risk, reduce your risk, especially if you're trying to do simulation upfront before you really have designs, before you have anything you can test. The risk has to be uh, managed. I mentioned governance. And then there's, there's this thing that Mary Fortier at GM calls the unsexy stuff, which is the basic management. Things like, can you go to a simulation that you did two years ago and know which version of the software was used? So we think that all engineering simulation should be done to support a design decision that, has, that needs to be made. Uh, or, or will be made or has been made. There aren't really many good metrics for that. Uh, simulation is often done as, as good as the analyst thinks that it, thinks that it, it should be. And um, the, the issue here is that you need to get a lot more discipline around the way you do the simulation, put into place the simulation governance and uh, manage simulation as a strategic capability for the corporation. So the need for democratization to make simulation be reliably used by a much wider audience of users uh, really uh, implies that you must increase your confidence in the simulations so that you can know that it's been, uh, the simulations have been uh, <coughs> done reliably. We get back to this chart that Rod Dreisbach put together that just attempts to uh, help us with uh, the various players. Uh, let's start with some data where I'm from. We generally talk to upper level managers and executives about short term, say three year, five year kinds of issues. I think that Assess uh, talks to, uh, addresses a similar audience, but but in the longer term, and NAFEMS is very much uh, more directed at the users themselves and, and perhaps in the shorter term. So the next steps that we have is to give tools for people to communicate to engineering management within uh, end user companies uh, what the message should be about simulation, how do you get simulation to be better understood throughout the company, not just uh, by, by the, the expert users, and um, how to uh, then, um, as part of that communication, develop an engineering simulation risk management model that will allow people to, to better understand uh, the costs, the ROI, and, and the risks that are involved and how you can manage those. And next we have, I believe, Hubertus to talk about the uh, systems working group.